It's Corner House Chronicles Day. Welcome back, folks. It's the Corner House Chronicles. I'm John. And I'm J- I'm, I'm Aaron. Oh, he caught himself in a bear trap there. Oh, man. Tonight, folks, Jay has the night off. We have made it so big. He took a vacation day. He put in for it, and he took a vacation day, and he's out painting the town right now. Lucky fucker. Or he's at home playing video games. <laughs> One of the two. We don't know. But I was able to get out. We, I appreciate it. Oh, I'm, just, I'm sure you appreciate it. You oh, had fun last week. So. I did. I, I miss this so much. And here we are, episode 90, which is 82 since the last time it was just me and you sitting at the table. Wow. Episode, I did, episode I did. actually seven was the last episode, I think. No, eight you were here, but Jay was here. It was like the, the passing of the torch. Yep, yep. I didn't even realize it's been that many. It's been that many, minus, I think, episode 69 never aired. But that was it. <clears throat> I mean, I have a couple drop-ins here and there. Yeah. I'm hoping to make it a little more regular. Well, with this new equipment, it's definitely uh, portable. So That is true. <laughs> we can make it more than we need to. So, folks, episode 90, first, of, first things first, happy 4th of July to all of our listeners here in America and in Ireland, because we found out earlier today they were celebrating in Ireland, so that's pretty sweet. That is. They do parades and all, mm-hmm. all the stuff. They I, had, what, statues of the Statue of Liberty and different things, Uncle he said? Uncle Sam. Yeah. yeah we, we talked to the famous Guido a little while ago, directly a, from Ireland. Another staff member on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> But it was interesting. I loved his reasoning behind it. Like, well, yeah, both of us got independence from Britain. Yeah. I was like, yeah, you know, that makes sense. That is a pretty good little middle finger right there. Yeah. Nice little celebration. It's How did both of those guys get a vacation day and we're sitting here? Hey, man. Oh, geez. <laughs> <laughs> we started it and mm-hmm. we just. We got to keep things rolling, folks. I was going to say we don't quit, but then I left. <laughs> yeah, well, it wasn't a quit. A little sabbatical. I, I've been on. The back end. Yep. Behind, Working things. Behind the curtain. Matter of fact, why don't we talk about that real quick? Um, we'd like to give a little shout out on Twitter to the Beer Goddess. Yeah. For including our show in... Uh, it's a daily digital publication. Yeah, it's like a um, like a newsletter kind of thing, a yeah. fan mail type situation. So they go out and they cure uh, on this site, I think it's like Paper IO or something like that. Yeah. I, I really don't know much about it, but it looks like... From what I can see, they go out and they find all their own content of stuff they like. They throw it in there, and they tagged us in it, and we're right under the entertainment section with the latest episode. It's crazy. Because of a hashtag, right? It looks like I mean, it. look, that's because the only the explanation. Only, the <laughs> only hashtag they had on there was uh, hashtag craft beer. Right. And so everything was about craft beer, and obviously we support Michigan craft beer. Mm-hmm. Yes, we do. We're going to start with that. Shout out to the Beer Goddess on Twitter. Was, we'll do a little more uh, interaction here. Let's we'll, we'll contact. Yeah, you know. we'll, we'll 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 tweet at them. There we go. I'm sure you already have at least once. Yeah, <laughs> no, nothing too direct, but you know, a thank you and right. a retweet, obviously, of the publication because that was that was cool as hell. I, I I've never had. I mean, we've had other people share the show, comment on the show, and do stuff like that, but for them to take the time to, I, I would think, listen, to yeah. put it in their own content, you right. Would, assume that they listened and liked it enough to go you know what this is high quality podcasting right here uh, let's hope that that's what it was it could be our logo <laughs> it could be the logo <laughs> but you know or the hashtag either way shout out to you for uh including us whoever it is in your operation we thank you very much um and another shout out we need to give is to the good folks over at Top Shelf Liquor, I believe is the name of the store. Top Shelf Liquor here right in Allen here. Park, Michigan. Allen Park, Michigan. Shout out to, uh, you said his name was Justin? Justin over J- there. And Dan at Allen Park Market. Okay. They're they're both under the same umbrella. Same team. And we've been getting some craft beer from them. Great people. They got a good selection from what you and Jay have told me. Especially at Top Shelf. They so got it, good stuff? They got a lot of good stuff. And I was introduced to the taps and the growlers. Oh, goodness. Didn't get them yet. <laughs> But I think that's going to be one of the next things we start pulling out here, a big old jug of beer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got cups. We can split it up pretty good. Yeah. But, yeah, he he, entered, he he let me taste test all the stuff on tap. He was he knows his shit. He yeah. was saying where all the breweries were located, what cities. 
the seasonal stuff when it comes out, what he recommends, and yeah, good guys, both shops. That's sweet too because they're right here in our area. You know, it's not a far drive not for any all. of us to get to either one of those locations. <clears throat> Shout out to Dan and Justin. We appreciate it. Um, looking forward to uh, trying some more of your recommendations. So please keep them coming. So far, they, they've been very good at it. A lot of the beer that when I stop in and have came from the Allen Park Market from Dan, and they just purchased the other uh, liquor store okay. back in December because it was hilarious. I was there, and I was asking Dan. I'm like, hey, man, help me out. Let me know what just came in because we've covered quite a few beers in this 90-episode run. Right. And he's showing me, and he's like, ah, man, you've had most of the stuff here, and we're talking. And he was like, I just, yeah, I'll tell you what. Top Shelf has a much better selection. I'm like, ah, I really don't want to go over there. You know, I'm trying to be polite. Like, I'm trying to give you the business. I don't know why you're sending me away. <laughs> I'm like, I appreciate it because you're looking out for my best interest, which right. just moves you up a notch on the respect level. Right. And but I'm trying to spend my money here. <laughs> right. And he keeps, it, third time he recommends it, I'm like, hey, man, I would really much rather just buy the beer from you guys. Like, point blank. Let's right. just right. end this. And he's like, oh, well, we own that shop. We bought it back last December. And I'm like, oh, well, shit, man, I'm out. Yeah, you should have said that earlier. <laughs> He's like, tell him Dan sent you. I head on over. So that, that was a nice interaction and good peoples. Yeah, so far, any, I mean, I know Jay's got a couple of beers from over there, yep. one of those locations, and the stuff he's brought has been pretty tasty. So what's weird is tonight, I almost grabbed the beer you brought. Yes. And you almost grabbed the beer I got. And we ended up with both beers. So we got two beers to sample. <laughs> it, it was interesting because when I went, the one that you got was only warm. And I was like, man, I don't know how much time we have to stick it in a cooler. Right. I need something cold. So I got the one that I got. And then showed up, and you're like, oh, I got beer. And I'm like, oh, shit. Oh, I almost bought that. that I was... did get it warm, too. <laughs> did you? That's why I was in the bottom of the cooler. Yep. But what's really funny about that is both beers are from the same brewery. Right? Isn't that weird? How we both ended up getting something from New Holland Brewery? Yeah, I didn't even realize that. Uh, right. And I was just like, because they had, okay, we've talked about this, Odd Side, which we had last week yeah. with Beer Me. They got a whole bunch of new beers out right now. They released like eight. It was crazy. And they like, even Beer Me? They have it out in Lime now. Right. And we have Cat in the Wall on the shelf here. They have two cats in the wall. So it's like a double hoppy beer. And I'm like, holy shit, they're putting them out quicker than we can sample them. Yeah. Because if we don't sample them when the season changed, they're, they're going to be gone, right? Unless the party stores don't play by the rules. <laughs> so it may be Odd Side listens, and they're like, oh, well, we're just going to corner the market on this podcast. Maybe. Shout out to Odd Side. Get a hold, hold of us. Send us some samples. Hold on a second. Kids, the window's open. Sorry, folks, we got 4th of July festivities out here. Kids in the yard making all kinds of... They got the hose out, so I want to make sure that we don't get the studio wet. Don't get sprayed. Shh. <clears throat> okay, so back to the beer. Since Jay isn't here to do his little yeah. all right. uh, featured reading, um, we'll tell you what the beers are real quick before we get on the Untapped app and get some kind of description. But uh, I'm, I'm a little torn here. Because I don't know how I feel about nominating a beer to the shelf <laughs> with Jay not here. I got no problem with it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that I want to nominate it, but I'm just, no, it, it's I, pretty cool. Truthfully, knowing he wasn't here, I almost looked for the, if Justin wasn't so helpful, I was just strictly going to pick the wackiest label and then make you let me put it on the shelf. Oh. <laughs> so when he got back, it would have been there. And he don't listen, so he wouldn't have known about it until he showed up. The exactly. Next time been, he'd have been like, what the <laughs> fuck is that doing on the wall? And I'd have a little, like, sticky note there just for you, Jason. Right. An Aaron nomination. We love you, Jay. Enjoy your vacation day. Um, <laughs> the first one we got that I picked up was uh, Lake and Trail. It's a copper lager, uh, again, from New Holland Brewing. There is no description on the can. On the box, however, I did notice that um, I believe it's a portion of their proceeds goes to uh, Michigan State Parks, which I thought was pretty cool and the sole reason why, why I got the beer. So, you know, that's a good thing. That is. You know, I appreciate that. And being that it's the 4th of July, I was, you know, feeling pretty patriotic. I'm like, let's support the damn parks. Absolutely. So I brought 
also from New Holland. Cerveza con lemon. So it's a, let's see, it's a cerveza con lemon celebrates the long, joyful days of summer when the afternoon slowly fades to the evening and fellowship carries on till morning. So it has pressed oils from Persian limes and lemons adds a refreshing citrus quality to this lager. Added electrolytes. <gasps> Ooh. Oh. It's what you crave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And a 4.8 level. All right. So it'll keep your thirst quenched all summer long. So before I take a sip, I'm going to guess that it tastes like squirt. Squirt. Lemon lime, heavy carbonation. Okay. You know, not so much Sprite. Sprite's a little easier. Squirt has that distinct taste. It does. But we'll see. Um, here we go. Cheers. Cheers. Not quite as strong as Squirt. It's definitely way easier. Yeah, I, I was expecting a lot, a lot stronger lemon, lemon lime. You know, mm-hmm. like lime, just really out there. It, it is. It tastes really good. I, I could definitely drink these. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. that was especially with electrolytes. Mm-hmm. I mean, geez, that's a I would, solid beer. I'm gonna say I, I actually, I think it tastes better than the Lake and Trail. Personally, the Lake and Trail is good. The the fact that it was a copper lager, I was like, ah, oh, lager, you know, it's a little heavier. It's not quite IP. It, it's got a little a little bite to it. It does. You know. It does. It has it. Which I'm for, guessing is the copper part of the lager, you know. Without Pez being here to explain uh, to right, me. Right, right. It has a more beer taste. You know what I mean? Like, you can tell this is a beer. Yeah. Whereas the Cerveza Con Lamon <laughs> has a much... Man, just it, it's smoother. It's definitely a smoother drink. It's a smoother drink. Yeah. It, it makes, yeah. It's blowing my mind that both of these beers came out of the same brewery, too, because, like, they're nothing alike, you no. know, which is good, uh, again, with the craft beer market. And I didn't, even market. Put, I didn't even put it together when you showed me that, because I almost picked it up. Didn't even realize it was also a New Holland. Yeah. And it's been a long time since we had New Holland. And I, I don't think they've done cans that much that could have been i think it's a new thing with them because i noticed like they had a lot of bottle selection oh, let's see so, oh you're looking up on untapped yeah i'm going to the untapped here i just want to see if there's any kind of uh any kind of like descriptions that we don't oh for yours eat no i'm looking up the cerveza one first oh. <clears throat> yeah i didn't know how i'd like the cerveza. truthfully when i when i got it I couldn't get the the idea out of my head of a Corona and Lime. Yeah. Really, that's what I was like, all right, so this is like their take on Corona and Lime, which it could be because I've never drank Corona and Lime. Me too. <laughs> so I have nothing to compare it to other than my imagination, but I'd have to take this over it. <laughs> right, right. The Corona's going to have to kick ass for me to uh, think it's better. Okay. Man, I'm getting shit service out here. It's running slow. Probably all the fireworks in the air. <laughs> <laughs> um, this says that uh, Cerveza is 5% ABV, but on the can it says 4.8. On the box it says 4.8? Yeah. Oh, I received an error. <laughs> it's probably because the uh, alcohol content was incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the hell is going on. Here we go. Here we go. Details. Uh, style guide. It's a logger. American. It says Mexican style lager with lime added post fermentation. That's it. Unless there's another spot that I'm not so seeing. The, the box gave us a lot more. And I, I did notice that the box does not um, have the, for the cerveza, does not have the state park thing on there. So the Copper Trail must be specifically for that. Yeah. Because it is on there on the Untapped app, it does say it's celebrating the centennial anniversary of Michigan State Parks, Lakes, and Trails and this copper lager that will be a perfect companion for all your outdoor adventures, which I can see that being a camping beer. You know you're going to sit down and drink a beer. True, like a hiking style, Yeah, you know, walking through the hills or something, up through the woods. But there's a, a comment here on uh, Untapped for Cerveza con Limon that says, too much lemon and lime taste. It's like mixing Sprite with a lager. <laughs> it doesn't taste like that at all. No, it I doesn't. I don't taste lager in this at all. And they're complaining about the beer having... Lemon and lime, <laughs> right? 
That's their complaint. Like, mm -hmm. I read it. It says <laughs> Cerveza con Le mm -hmm. But since it's L, I, may, maybe the little, the uh, what do you call that over the O? The little line over the O that's in Spanish? I don't know. That's Jay's department. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe that threw them off and they didn't really think it was. Or the picture of the lemon at the bottom they just thought was a green hill. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm not I, sure what's going on. I'm not. Some Can we downvote that? I know, right? I'm going to thumbs down <laughs> that shit. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give the Cerveza a 2.75 on the untapped. Man. I'm liking it. It's uh, I'm tagging it under so refreshing just, and that's smooth. just above average. Because um, it's a 5. It's out of 5. So 2.75 is just above average. Yeah. You have been strict on your ratings. I've been trying to get blown away. I'm, you know what I mean? Like, I want a beer to really get me. I used to just throw you know, whatever. Yeah, yeah, I do remember that. <laughs> My, mine have stayed pretty consistent because I do enjoy most all all the beers. There's been very few that, I mean, I don't like, and it's for whatever reasons. But. Right. So out of curiosity, if you're not drinking a craft beer, what's your drink? Um, I like PBR. Okay. I do enjoy PBR, and lately it's been a lot of Coors Banquet. I've been drinking that, Solid. too. Throwback, uh, and Holy then shit. I'll go to uh, Bud Light just because the gas station. If I stop there, they don't sell PBR. So, what would you give a Pabst? Um, let's see. If I had never had one before, yeah, like we're sitting here at the table, we're like, hey, we're doing Pabst, right? Knowing that I've drank it before, is that what you're saying? Whatever. Or, now, then, whatever. What rating would you give it on a scale of one to five? Like uh, an untapped. If I told you you had to rate it right now, that's a good question. Um, let's see. i probably go four and a quarter. Okay. So what about banquet? Probably four. Maybe three, seven, five. Maybe. All right. So those are the ones that are close to blowing you away. Well, no, that's just what I like. When I say blown away, like, obviously, if I had never had Pabst and I drank one, I don't know that I'd give it a four and a quarter. Okay. Because it's just standard beer. You know I, what I mean? Right. Now, I'm just curious to kind of compare what you normally drink. Because right. craft beer is expensive. Right. It, it's, there, you know, there's a reason yeah. that we drink other beer. Right. On a regular. On a regular. <laughs> so I was just curious on how that translated to your ratings. Just because you are usually a lot lower than I am, for sure. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you're not too much lower than Jason. Jason seems a little bit... Sometimes he gets me by like a quarter point. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, man. Like okay. I said, before I was taking it seriously and I was just like, oh, this one's a four and a half. This one's a 4.75. I'm like, you know, I got to pull back the reins a little bit on that because they're not all that good, you know. What was the, the Mich Michigan Amber? Was that the one that you liked? Yeah. What'd you give that? Do you remember? I don't. I'd have to look on Untapped. Okay. I will go back and look here in a second. I, I would assume in the threes. Oh, I would hope so. If I didn't, I'm going to feel like a jackass. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to re-rate it. I, I'm not trying to put you on the spot. I was just curious, trying to translate your taste, because I know you're, you've been a lot lower, and like you were like, this is a good beer. I like this beer, but then it's just a tad over average. Yeah. Let's see. Michigander, I gave a three. Okay. Um, hmm. All right. I'm looking here. Give me one second. I got to scroll back. No I don't problems. know how long. Oh, Michigan Amber, three and a quarter. That's okay. what I gave it. Then that's fine, because I, I, you speak very highly of that beer. I do like that one, absolutely. But I, I was surprised that didn't get closer to a four, considering five's like the ultimate. I gave Kingdom of Tonga a three and a quarter, too, which I'd probably change that now Okay. after having I was some of the other beers. Just you because know? so many years don't get near the fours, I right. was just curious. Ooh, Captain's Porter, I gave a three and a half. Okay. Shit. So, that was back in January. Let's see. I gave Horny Monk a three and a quarter. That's your like five oh, star dude, right there, dude, right? That's, that's, that's your beer. deal. Love that beer. You know who turned me on to that? Who? Dan at Allen Park Market. Really? Yeah. He was like, hey, this beer, try this. Bring it back up. Is that a, who makes that beer? Because I'm, I'm, I'm so bad it. with my, I know. my memory. We, we need to hire a researcher. We need another dry erase board. <laughs> I'm you kidding. It's Petoskey Brewing. Petoskey, That's what it is. Yes. yes. All right. <clears throat> All right. So my ratings, Copper Trail. I didn't even rate that one. It's not Copper Trail. It's Lake and Trail. Yes. Lake and Trail, 
Man, see, it's tough when you have two beers because you're also comparing them to each other, which affects their rating. And they're at the same brewery, which makes it even fucking harder, it in is. my opinion. Because if it was just that beer, I do believe it'd be like, all right, I can see this camping, I can do this. But then when I have the cerveza, I'm like, now this is a beer I can drink just about every day. Mm-hmm. You know what, though? I think I could only have about two or three of these. I would have to space them out if I was drinking a whole six-pack. The, the lemon-lime, I'm not a huge fan of. Ah, uh, see me? But there's, it's not overpowering. No. So I'm a huge lemon-lime fan. Really? I drink Mountain Dew, drink. Yeah. So that's, I, I, you know, that's right up my alley. All right, so Lake and Trail, I'm going to give a three. Okay. Because I, I, I do rank them higher than you. Yep. Um, now, Cerveza, I'm going to go a solid... F- ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, folks, he almost dropped the F word. Almost, almost. dropped it. Guys, who wants a hug? Man, I don't know if... I, I really want to give it that quarter. Really want to give it that extra quarter. Four and a quarter? Are you talking about a four and a quarter? You're not going to say that to me right now, are you? What did I give... Oh, man. Now, 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 I, now I feel like the jackass. Like, am I going to rank this above Horny Monk? Because... Three and a quarter, I think, was your horny monk. Really? No, that was my horny monk. I'm sorry. Oh, I was going to say. Okay, I gave Cerveza 2.75. 2.75? I'm going to give Lake and, uh, Lake and Trail a 2.5. That, those are going to be my... Uh, 2.5? Okay. Yeah, 2.5. I, I, I can see that. I can see that. I gave horny monk four and a quarter. All right, oh. it's a solid four, then. The Cerveza? The Cerveza. Given a four? Nice. Solid four. I, but I'm a big lemon-lime fan. That's really up my alley, so that definitely bumped it. I feel like it would have been a lot lower if it wasn't that smooth of the taste of those flavors. It is a smooth drink. It, it would have probably been three, three and a half, maybe three seven five at most. But because of the smoothness, and I can see, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna rank them after the show. <clears throat> yeah. So I got two, two and a half, and two point seven five. Those are my ranks. And that's not a slight on the beers. That's just because, like we've said before, um, I've been stingy with my untapped ratings. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for something spectacular, you know. But uh, shout out to New Holland Brewing because uh, these are two pretty good beers. And unbeknownst to them, they got a doubleheader on the show. They did. They did. We're going to tag you twice. <laughs> if we can figure out how, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, we'll tag and hashtag. That's how we'll do it. <laughs> Every which way but loose. Mm-hmm. It, I just I couldn't believe when you showed up with that, because that was I literally had it in my hand. I picked the case up and I was like, "This is weird," because there's another brewery. That, um, who did we do that was uh, Norm's Raggedy IPA? You remember that? I mean, oh, we're talking shit. early first couple of episodes. Is oh. it? Um, is it Griffin Claw? Is that the name of the brewery? That's. I think that's the name of the brewery. They have one. I believe it's called. El Tigari- Tigaro, Tigaro or something. It's like a Spanish style lager, right? And I've looked at this damn beer. I don't know how many weeks in a fucking <laughs> row where I was like, I'm going to get that, you know? But again, it says like lime and different shit. And I'm just like, Ugh. I don't know if I really want to mess with that. See, what's, what I didn't realize is we, we were drinking the beers from the start. That was one of the things that we were like, well... Every show. We didn't really know what we wanted to cover. Nope. You know, just wanted to start it up, but we knew that was one of the things we thought would be cool because neither of us ventured out into the craft brewery. No, 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 Craft no. beers. That no. Was... Only around Pez yeah. was the only place I was drinking them. So that's why we were like, you know what? That'd be a good thing for us to experience on the show, and we'll mm-hmm. figure out kind of the rest. But we didn't really find Untapped until much later. Right. And, like, my... From what I can see, my first untap was like May seventh of two thousand eighteen. Okay, so we were five months then July six months into the show two thousand eighteen. Those were probably when you were then guesting on the show. November shows, right? of two thousand eighteen. Yeah. Right. So a lot of those beers that we tried, I'd have to go back to the website to uh, see what I, I thought of it. And I don't even know if we ranked them then until we got the untapped. I think they're all on our Instagram page. Way back at the very oh, beginning shit. of the post. Remember when I was doing them with the business card? We need to get an intern to do this research for us. <laughs> Anybody out there work for peanuts and craft beer? <laughs> Literally, we'll show you how to work a roadcaster. It'll be excellent. Like You don't oh, get to shit. work it. We're just going to show you how to right. work it. We'll, we'll show you how it works. We'll, we'll sign your, your, your school slip, give you the rating, everything. Man. 
Speaking of the roadcaster, I did get a couple more drops. Uh-oh. I just think they're funny. I eat pieces of shit like you for breakfast. Shoot <laughs> They're fun. I got this one too. Hey Greg, why don't you go piss your pants again? <laughs> That's it. Super bad. Super bad. Yeah, sometimes I'll sit around and just write down funny movies and different scenes and then I'll go and try to find the drop, you know. Movies. You with the holiday, I would assume you've been busy, but did you get to at least YouTube the fight from They Live? Um, I actually didn't. Jay sent me the fucking link, and I didn't click. I Son of a bitch. Honestly, I forgot for like two days. I did. I totally forgot. So while we were on the show, because I was here last show. Yes. I tweeted and Facebook put out a poll on both of them. I saw that. I voted, and at least on Facebook, I voted. How the fuck could you vote? Well, I waited. You and haven't seen it. I know, but I just voted. Just like a lot of people do in fucking all of our polls. Fucking recount. <laughs> well, wait. What'd I you voted vote? no. Yeah, recount. Why? No, still lost. Yeah, Does, it's all right. all right. All right, fair enough. What was it, 11 to f- 15 9? To, 15 to 11. 15 to 11, that's so, what it was. Facebook, we got pretty good traction, right? Mm-hmm. Even though it, I agree that it looked like people were commenting, oh, I voted, but I've never seen the movie. Mm-hmm. Oh, come on. You're, you're skewing it here. Right. This isn't the presidential election. <laughs> so Collusion. <laughs> so, But then I looked on Twitter, and we had like two votes, Jason and myself. I was like, oh, man. Yeah. Our reach needs to get a little deeper, so, for, I think, on Twitter for the polls. You know. So I got it jacked up. I tweeted out, help, we only have two votes. And I tagged a bunch of people that have been interacting with the show. And we got some votes on there. And that, the total ended up being 15 yes, 11 no. Right. The ones that also commented on Twitter were, like, no-brainer from, like, Dan I think that's what he said. Pretty much that idea of right. no brainer. That's right. definitely in there. Dan from My Watch, you listen. Mm-hmm. Uh, guy in chair, he voted. We, we've been interacting with him yep. way back when he was trying to get on the red carpet because he owned the do- the domain name. Yep. Uh, Danny from the Working Stiffs. Okay. Uh, pretty, he voted and he was like, "Man, I ain't seen that movie in ages." I'm like, "You best just another reason to watch it." You again. better relive they live, my friend. So, thank you guys for actually voting and yeah. helping us out there. So we actually had had enough in there to make it 26 votes. All right. It's not bad. Nothing not bad. to shake a stick at there. You no, know, but enough to justify it. I can't. I, I know. I should watch it right now while we're doing Just the show. Pause the show. <laughs> no, I'll watch it. Should I'll play, get to it. Play an intermission drop. and Right. Everything works like three days behind for me. That's just the way it is, man. I get busy. Yesterday was a rough day. Today's a holiday. You know, whatever. But we do appreciate everybody voting. Do we got brackets coming up anytime soon? It's been a while. Well, we talked about this last week, uh, how we were going to do That's album right. covers, but we decided to do fight scenes, and then we were going to try to work out some of the details of the fight scenes. Like That's right. what qualifies and, you know, different things like that, which we didn't get around to. You know, yeah. we're busy. <clears throat> I'd like to, I think I'd rather do album covers. I think it'd be easier just to put a picture of an album cover for each for the vote. Right, the visual. Right. I think that's better for our polls, personally. But, you know, we can do fight scenes. Unless you got something better over there. Bracket wise, no. 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 Okay. I, it just popped in my head. Okay. I thought I'd throw it out there. I, I did bring some stuff. I, I didn't know. It was an impromptu kind of. Right. I mean, it was. I, Jason had the day requested off for months. We knew ahead of time. Yep. There was no show planned for this evening. And we just kind of dropped the ball with everything going on. Mm-hmm. So, sorry, Jay. We'll do better on your next vacation. <laughs> you know what we talked about right at the very beginning of this episode, though, is how it's been X amount of days since me and you both sat here together. Yeah. And um, do you remember before we started the first episode, in quotes, that we recorded where we watched a UFC event and we yeah. barely talked? And it was at that night when we were like, when I said I want to do brackets, yeah. we were like, oh, I don't know, it could be something cool in March, you know, for madness. And then we ended up doing like four in a year and stuff, and that's pretty cool. Yeah, those stem back to the roots. The, just like last week when you brought up the chick on the horse, that had to be episode two. Oh, dude, that was early. <laughs> and then I brought the power wheel. <laughs> it's almost like a reoccurring segment. Well, on that note, do you have any other stories like that? <laughs> so a man. He does, folks. Was caught drunk driving. But he blames it on his beer-battered fish. Oh, get out of here. 
Th- this was an old story. I, I just oh. love that it's from 2016. But yes, uh, it didn't get him out of jail. Um, it was in Wisconsin. And he, he said the reason his breath smelled of beer was he just ate beer battered fish. <laughs> <laughs> Those claims didn't work out well for the 76-year-old man who was convicted uh, by a jury. He took that shit to jury. Like, you guys don't, judge, you don't believe me? I, w- I want my peers. Oh, no. And then he lost. <laughs> he lost in, in 2016. That, that happened in 2014. It took two years for him to get a jury of his peers. I mean, the guy's probably tried everything because this was his 10th DUI. Oh, my God. Dude. <laughs> How do you have a license after one, let alone two? Well, he got it revoked this time. Oh. <laughs> I don't even... Oh, hell, look at that guy. He kind of looks like Bubbles like from Trailer Park Boys in 30 years. <laughs> it was just hilarious. Like, oh, my goodness. Oh, Beer goodness. battered fish, it'll get you every time. How... Look, if you could line up the amount of cops that would believe that story, <laughs> you would have a line of zero. Nobody's going to believe that you're swerving in your car because of some beer-battered fish. I mean, I, I did pull up one from recent. They didn't have much on it. It was just a... Oh, it's because it's a video. That's why I hate it when I have to actually watch the videos. But it was a suspected DUI driver runs over friend trying to stop her from driving <laughs> you're too don't you dive don't don't do it Susie you don't Thump. tell me <laughs> wham oh my goodness and did it say what her name was no it didn't say what her name was no, it, no. I, if I watch the video we're gonna call her Leslie though right all right okay. yeah hey Leslie shut your f-ing mouth <laughs> I tried to remember the drop I went with Susie I was a little off you're Leslie close. Leslie so but the uh, reporter did speak to an employee of the res- restaurant, and they did refuse the suspect alcohol because she appeared to be too drunk. And then the friend ran out in the parking lot. So, Leslie, don't do it. Don't do it, Leslie. You can't drive. You can't handle the truth. <laughs> That's the truth, bitch. Don't get behind the wheel. Man. Oh, those stories. They never get old. No, it's, and it's so easy nowadays with Uber. Mm. Yeah, back when, before that, I mean, you would have call a friend or a parent. Or a cab. Or a cab. You know how long you oh. wait for a cab. We and don't live cost. in a major city. And you, you had know. to have cash on you. Right, right. they didn't take no cards. Nope. I guess that's one of the benefits of this new technology that we're in the middle of is that, uh, sorry, listeners, we got kids in the yard again. You can hear them yelling in the background. Uh, but they're not killing each other. The The good thing about this technology is that you can just get a, a ride like that. Yeah. That quick. Put your card in. Everything's taken care of. You don't have to worry about it. Have you used it before? Yes. Oh, okay. yeah. That's amazing. Not, on, not like my phone. I haven't used it. But, oh. Uh, hold on. I'm going to shut that door. Studio. <laughs> <laughs> they got a little bit too close to the studio. We need an intern, but we can't afford hair, so we have the windows open. Right. Right. The kids are right outside the door in a pool, so it was hot today. Whew. But, yeah, I've used it a couple times. Mm-hmm. Like, I remember the first time I used it, I was like, man, I know I'm going out drinking. And I was going out drinking with a buddy that we drink. Right. I was like, I know I don't want to leave my car up there. Right. So I had to download the app, figure it out, and, man, it was like, this is amazing. It's crazy amazing, right? Yeah. Like, there's certain parts of technology now that are just terrible for us humans. They're absolutely killing us in ways that we can't even describe. But then there's these other parts that are really fucking awesome. Uber out there saving lives. Uber, Lyft, you know, shit like that. Now with these grocery shopping apps, have you done those yet or no? I have not had them delivered. I just went to, like, the local chain and did a pickup to where they'll pull all the shit off the shelf and load in the back of your car and you just drive off. Okay. I haven't done that yet. I've done that. I have not done, like, the, I don't even know what they're called, but the ones that, like, deliver the shit to your house. Shipped, I think, is what it is. Yeah. S-H-I-P-T, I I believe. And I have not brought myself to do the fast food ones. The DoorDash or whatever. Right. Uber Eats. I'm like, man... Do I really want to be so lazy? I'm going to get some really fucking unhealthy food and not go get it. Well, it, well, it'd be different if you were walking to get it, <laughs> but you're going to drive to get it anyways. So uh, we did one night, me and the neighbors were 
had uh, we were overserved here in the the garage, the studio, whatever you want to call it, and we did Uber Eats for Taco Bell. Yeah, and the only thing they forgot was one burrito, but we over ordered because we, because we were intoxicated and, right. too. So we were, oh, this looks good, that looks good. Boom, put it on there. Order. Um, but it got here pretty quick. Shit was all warm, you know. I'm like, that ain't bad. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. And I'll tell you, my next door neighbors do it a lot. They get a lot of shit from the hill, too. Really? Yeah. There's a, I guess there's a really killer Mexican joint up on the hill. Yeah, yeah, there is. They deliver over here. I'm like, I always see people pulling up with food. I'm like, damn, you're doing it again. You make me want to order some food and get it delivered. It's amazing, right? That's incredible shit that we've gotten to that point, in my opinion. I think Absolutely. it's cool. Especially when you come, like, we just came from our 4th of July party. Right. And you sit there and talk to Grandma. Right. Who has seen... 94 the, years old. Seen the invention of cars. <laughs> Television. Televisions, refrigerators, computer. I mean, you just on and on. Right. And you're like, man, what she must think of phones. Yeah. Just, like, the camera aspect of it, I know, blows her away. Yeah. You know, because you used to have to, what, Polaroid. Polaroid she had all the Polaroids. The, her her photo albums were all Polaroids up to a certain you, point. At the, at the holiday parties? Yep. Always. Here, they'd always give it to the kid. They'd take the picture, give the kid the fun, and we'd have to run around shaking it. Run around, it. shake it out. <laughs> you want to hear a funny story about Polaroids? <clears throat> we, many moons ago when I was in the band with Chris, Luke, and Rob. Yep, yep. We went to the studio to record when we won the recording time. And uh, Rob had a Polaroid camera. I think, I don't know if it was Rob's or not. It doesn't matter. Somebody had a Polaroid camera, and they were taking pictures. And they popped a picture out, and they show it to me. And it was black and white. And I was like, how the hell did you do that? And Rob says, you got to hold it right up against the light, right? And as it develops itself, it'll take all the color out of the picture. And I'm like, get the fuck out of here, dude. Like, you could see the sparks coming out of my ears. That's how excited I was. So I snap a picture, stand on a chair... <laughs> That's wheeled, so the chair isn't sturdy at all, and I'm moving around, and I'm holding this picture up against this light in and the studio. Laughing and they're all laughing ass. their ass off, and I'm like, is it good? It still kind of looks color. They're like, no, you got to keep doing it. Like 15 minutes, they had me up there holding this picture, and it's it was still color. Then they tell me they had black and white Boy, Polaroid yeah. film. <laughs> I'm like, you sons of bitches. <clears throat> That's a good one. That was it. Was a great burn. Right, I've been burned so many times by great burns. Oh, I've never just, gotten anybody in a really you good just one. But respect them. Oh yeah, yeah. I wasn't I, mad. I still remember we worked at the pizza place and they got the new kids to mm -hmm. do the bucket of water on the ceiling and hold it with the broom. <laughs> I was like, how the fuck did you get them to agree to that? Right. Anyone with common sense knows. Don't do that. That's not going to work out well, at all. We used to get kids going out looking for the garden. We need tomatoes. Where are they? They're out in the garden. It's back over there. You just got to go look for it. They'd be in some person's yard wandering <laughs> around. <sighs> yeah, she's seen some shit, though, Grandma. 94 years, man. That's I mean, that's a you, lot of change. You think, of, like, the internet was invented, what? Not for our kids. They've always had the internet. Right. For us, we went through the dial-up age. What were we, 11, 12? Yeah. The early 90s? The only person I knew that had internet was Rob. Yeah. Yeah, I knew one other person that I played baseball with that had and that was it. Yeah, and, and it was I, all chat rooms. Yeah, that's all we did. That's it. You just get in a chat room and try and, to stir some shit. Yeah, just fuck with people. And then I remember when we got it. Oh, that was so great. Except, I mean, because you couldn't like, oh, man, I can't sleep. It's two in the morning. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna hang out on the internet. No. <laughs> and your parents are yelling down. It's fucking go to bed. I'm like shit, man. Got caught. It wasn't even. It, it almost felt like it wasn't from the speakers. Like that shit just emitted from the computer itself. I yeah. probably could have muted the speakers and had no problem. All through the house. But I probably didn't know how to do that either. <laughs> it's crazy what we've seen in just the last 20 some years. Remember how big pagers were? <sighs> the first time you had one that you could actually put words, like you could type words in and Instead it would of show the symbols up. Right. And like backwards yeah. numbers and. Crazy, I bought dude. one because everyone that was cool had one. Right. No one ever fucking paged me in my no. life, but I paid that twenty dollar bill mm -hmm. every month. Mm -hmm. Every month, like, yeah, I would gladly give you your money so I can look like mm -hmm. people want to get a hold of me. <laughs> <laughs> you pull it out and look at it, even though nobody had paged you. You're in public, like, oh shit, I gotta call so and so. I'll be right back. <laughs> God, 
or, or the one page you didn't want was from your parents, and you're like, right. I'm gonna ignore that motherfucker as long as I can. It's a new, it's a new technology, ma. Right. I, it just sometimes it glitches. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I did this personally. Oh, shit. But I think I heard somebody tell me this once, that they told their parents they had to put the dash mark in the telephone number in order for it to go through. Oh, shit. So the parent was looking on the keyboard for the dash. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's great. I, I remember it back when we were stirring up trouble as our, in our youth. Yeah. We used to work at a, at a grocery store, you and I. Oh, uh, Yes. And we, we had some issues with an individual, and, like, shit would get all heated. And so then you'd run out to the payphone, you'd throw in some quarters, and you'd page, page your buddy that has shit, you know, issues with them. <laughs> and then you walk back from the payphone, and they're like, did you just page so-and-so to start some shit? No, 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 man. Nope. My ma paged me. I did, yeah. I had to call her back, bro. Don't worry about it. And then they roll up, and you're like, oh, shit, look who's here. It's a coincidence. <laughs> You could check my pager. <laughs> Us trying to use technology in our... I remember the first cell phone I got. I got in the mail. What? In a box. It was from Motorola. There was no you know, cell phone stores. Then I, we must, I must have got mine in the same deal. It was, dude, I'm telling you what. It was one of those one-piece deals, too. The one-piece you know. with that little stubby antenna? Yep. yep. Huh. <laughs> with, with the face plates that popped off, you could get the Michigan face plate, yep. or you get the what? <laughs> oh, how fucking corny we were! And you know, I remember being younger, like not making fun of, but thinking it was goofy with the the rotary phone. Like, right. I can't believe y'all had to do this. This is crazy. You had to spin this thing every time you wanted to dial a number. You know, now, now we're like, you had buttons on your phone, right? <laughs> your shit was attached to the wall. Remember when our phones were attached to the wall? Yeah, man, that's crazy. Yeah, you had to get that extra long fucking cord so you could run around the house yep. into the other room so you could talk about the down low shit, or you had to talk to that girl and you didn't want your parents to hear. Yep, yep. Or they cl they picked the phone up. You're like, get off the <laughs> phone. I'm on the phone. You know what? I'm gonna Google real quick. How many landlines are left in America? Oh, there's got to be a lot. I want to know because I know the cable companies do like deals now where you get the cable, the internet, the phone. So it's cheaper for you to have a landline with a number to get your cable package. Which the vast majority don't even hook up. They just have the number for the discount. Okay. Of the remaining chunk of households, 39.4% had both a wireless phone and a landline. Only 6.5% of homes are landline only while 3.2 remain phone-free. Phone-free. The figures based on a telephone poll of nearly 20,000 households show just how many quick, just how quickly Americans have abandoned the landline. And that was from 2017. Man, and I wish there's a way to know how many of those lines are dead. You know what I mean? Like, you're like, well, shit, I'm going to save 30 bucks getting a landline for this package. Right. Yeah. You want us to hook it up? Fuck no. I don't even know where to buy a land phone now. Well, a lot of people do is they give that landline number to uh, telemarketers, telemarketers, bill oh. collectors, different shit like that, because you're never going to answer it. And the worst thing or you do is it shows up on your TV screen when somebody's calling. Right. And you just hit the fucking exit button. Go away. Fair enough. <laughs> I'm not home. Leave a message. <clears throat> and then you end up saving on your cable bill, you know? Yeah. Because they, it, like I said, they run these dumb packages where it's cheaper. Well, even now with so many people cutting cords, mm -hmm. you know, going to straight, strictly streaming everything. Oh, yeah. God, how long till that's absolutely phased out? Cable? It would have to be what our parents' generation to pass away? It might have to be our generation, honestly, just because of the news. Like, the news will always keep cable there, right? Because there's always going to be news channels or sports. Even if sports mm. go strictly streaming, you know, like, I don't think ESPN's ever going to get rid of their cable option and go no, strictly I, I'm, streaming. I, I, I meant landlines. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I thought I, we were totally, talking cable. I to, yeah, I totally. I think I did say gotcha. cable. But then now Landlines? Yeah, I think once our parents... Oh, I mean, yeah. I'm not wishing them... No, 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 no. But... No. Once they're gone, I, the only lines I believe will be in effect are the ones in the packages. Mm -hmm. And the vast majority of those aren't even going to be hooked up. No. 
they probably won't offer that too much longer anyways, just because the way people are severing ties with that shit. I would say probably 20 years, no more landlines. Wow. I mean, it took how long to get the, the pay phones out of existence? Which is crazy. They're almost gone. Yeah. And in the ones that are still there probably aren't operational. No. <laughs> you might get a 911 out of it if you're lucky. Right. If there's a dial tone. Shit. Yeah, technology, man. It's got us. Good and bad. Speaking of technology. So I am a big Amazon user. Mm-hmm. Almost everything I buy. Because I am I find myself extremely busy, and it's a lot easier just to have everything sent to my door. Right. Especially since, like, I'm a Prime member. So it's like, shit, I get everything in two days. Right. Free shipping. Oh, man. Yeah. So <clears throat> Amazon. Not your groceries, though. <laughs> not my groceries. <laughs> not no. yet. Hey, Bezos. <laughs> so I, I, they try, and I'm, I'm, I'm almost there. See what? All right. So one of the problems I have with that <laughs> is I, before I buy perishables, I'll buy, you know, like toiletries, and eh, everything's working out fine. So I bought some laundry detergent. Okay. I had a great deal on it. I'm like, all right, throw that in there. Fucking thing was punctured. So it wouldn't have been bad if it's just a box, and it's just a laundry detergent, and it's punctured. Right, but it's not. And it leaks all over itself, and I'm like, hey, call them up, get another one sent out, no problem. But I order, like, in bulk, so to speak. Like, there were other items in there that then I had to wash the laundry detergent off. Gross. It's, I mean, that's not gross, but no, you know what I mean. it's just a big hassle. Just, right. Like, all right, now I can see some of the, the faults in some of the perishable items and things like that. Right. Well, it was kind of like that when we delivered pizza. You didn't know what you were going to get. If you get the shitty delivery guy and he throws your pizza around in the fucking car, and you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, you run that risk. Absolutely. With That's anything true. delivered. So, Amazon, I saw on here that you can now buy a $19,000 do-it-yourself tiny home kit that takes only two days to build. That's what it looks like. You know what? I saw that. Yeah, it's like That's a tiny house. fucking tight. Yeah. They're like, I, they're not Lincoln logs, but it's kind of like a Lincoln log thing where you yeah, assemble it, it real quick. Yeah, and, it looks you know. like like the hardwood floors that you just kind of yeah pop together. Yep. I was like, holy cow! I mean, they they have a lot of they even have some that are as low as five thousand. I was like, man. And they're big enough crazy. to get like a little twin size bed, right? Yeah. Yeah. Or a couch, they're, they're a just futon, like, whatever. They're, they're literally like the, the basic needs type. Yeah. I was like, man, bow camp be totally different. You bring your own house and assemble <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> We're up there for a week. It only takes two days to set up. I'd assume that means two days to take down. It's um, probably not meant to be taken down. <laughs> probably not. No, I'm sure once you put it together, it's like, you know, once you pull a zip tie, <laughs> you got to cut that bitch apart. <laughs> I was just like, man. That would be sweet, though, to have a tiny house, like a little spot, you know. It would be. I wonder if we could get one to use it as a studio. Oh, shit. Right? Yeah. It might suck in the summer, though, because it'll be really cramped in there, so it'll probably be hot as shit. I mean, it's hot in here now, and this is a bigger size. It's because you shut the door. Well, I had to. The kids are being ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they sell everything, dude. You can buy a fucking house. From Lowe's. Shit, you can buy a house from Lowe's or whatever. You serious? And they'll fucking come over and build you a fucking house. You know, granted, it's a couple hundred thousand dollars, you know, with fully furnished and all that bullshit. But, yeah. Wow. They'll bring you a house and build that shit right from Lowe's. Their lumber, everything like that. It's crazy. It is. You can buy a house on your phone. Like a, a do-it-yourself house, <laughs> not just going on Zillow. and <laughs> Right. <laughs> hey, I found a good house. Let's go check it out. No, I'm having that bitch shipped to us. Lowell's now has realtors in aisle five. <laughs> right. Welcome to Costco. I love you. <clears throat> that would be cheap, though, if you bought, like, some killer property somewhere, right? Out in the middle of the, the woods. A little and up then north, you just yeah. fucking buy a do-it-yourself house and take that bitch up there and just leave it. Anytime you want to get away, boom. You got a little spot. That's the way to do it. That's whew. Sign me up. We need to hit the lotto or have like 100 people sign up for our Patreon. Right. <laughs> One of the two. Not only do we need an intern, we need a new <laughs> fucking house. <laughs> and some land. Mm -hmm. Shit's starting to get expensive, folks. Do you hear another icon from our, well, not only our childhood, but the generation before childhood is, is uh, 
dying off. Who? Mad Magazine. What? Yeah. For real? For real. They got news headlines out. They're getting rid of it? It, it looks like it's ran its course. Well, you know, in this culture we live in now, it, it, I imagine that there it got harder for them to mock people the way they used to. Right? Yeah, they were ruthless. They were they were the South Park of our generation, but it was just in print and not on TV. Yeah, it says the end, uh, later this year they're going to end the original content. You remember reading those in grocery stores? Oh, yeah. The cover used to fold in half where yeah. the arrows met, and it would make a little second picture. That was sweet. Yeah. I mean, when we were kids, that was some, like, the, the shit they made fun of was some risque shit for mm-hmm. us. Like, mm-hmm. we didn't hear comedians like you can just YouTube on now or see Instagram. No, no. You had to turn on HBO. Yeah. Or Showtime. <laughs> I, yeah. remember, I remember uh, the biggest comedian thing that really struck me was uh, Dennis Leary. The first one? The first one. No Cure for Cancer. Yeah. That was a good album. That was. I remember when... Funny as hell. First ran into that. Mm-hmm. I was like, holy shit, man. That was like my introduction to comedy. Like, Him I, and Carlin were my first two. Carlin, I saw yeah. a little bit later. I mean, I've I seen a couple of them here or there, but never really focused. And it was, uh, it was actually... It, Rob found it. Yeah. And that's I listened to it and I was like, "Holy shit, man!" It just blew my mind away. Like that was, like stand up comedy. That's fucking hilarious. You can get paid good money to go make people laugh and just be like, especially if Dennis Leary is oh, what dude. you're comparing it. And to. And he had the asshole song on right. there. Right. He had some funny shit. He had some. His even the second album was good. Yeah. With uh, Pete's Wicked Ale. Fuck Pete. Who the fuck is Pete? Go to Seven <laughs> Eleven. It's a fucking coffee tin. You think they just have. Where's the coffee? It's we'll play seven here. goddamn eleven. And pull up your fucking pants. <laughs> and his get, tongue is fucking pierced. <laughs> his ears are fucking pierced. His eyebrow fucking pierced. His pants start here. It's all underwear. This is all underwear. <laughs> Folks, check out Dennis Leary. Right. No cure for cancer. And what was the second one called? Oh man, I'd have to look it up. It's been a while since I listened to it. Uh, locked, locked and loaded. Yeah, locked and loaded. I nice think that's pull. what it, lock it is. and load. I think it's called lock and load. I get in my truck. Calming myself down. I, <laughs> Somebody spilled maple I, syrup so, in my car. <laughs> I go back. It's a goddamn alert. Um, I found this I wanted to bring up to you before we get out of here, too. I don't know if you're a fan of flying or not. I haven't done it much. Okay. Hold on if I can get the... Is this our man out in California? No, no. Have we checked in with him? We haven't. But check this damn thing out. Because he lost... Wait, hold on. He's Flintstoning it. But yeah. So you run down the side of the hill in this man-made plane, pull your feet up, and then it's like, you know, a gliding. Is it frozen? So, so oh. that, that has to be a very lightweight construction if you have to hold the plane while you run. Well, it, yeah, he's it, wobbling. it, it kind of looks like, like really thick styrofoam to me is what it looks like, you know? Yeah, and it is a glider. But once, once he gets going, he pulls his feet up. Would you try something like that, do you think? Like, my first thought is, do you find that at the dollar store next to the little... Probably not. ...construction cardboard ones that you put together? No. You I'm know guessing what I mean? this it, is, Yeah, right. It's what it looks like. But I'm guessing this is, like, special made, you know, because it's got weight, I'm sure. He has a windshield. Uh, he's up there, too. You know what I mean? Like, it's not no gliding 30 that feet off the ground. so fucking heavy to carry. Like, I can't get over having to hold it. And then you got to land with your feet, too? <laughs> <laughs> but would you do it would you try that you think because i know you know once you run off the side of that mountain and you pull your feet up that's it yeah you're in like there's no turning back that's your ride now it's like a giant roll cage with wings yeah why does he have the wheel why is there a wheel i'm guessing if you lose your balance coming down you just lean back and the wheel probably oh, i thought it would have been for landing but no he lands with his feet well, that's what I'm saying, though. If you land and your feet slip out, you just lean yourself back. Oh, you're you know, you've got that fucking training wheel behind you to kind of brace the impact and roll through it. I mean, he, you know, that, that image right there, he's only, you know, inches off the ground, his feet. But I don't know, dude. I saw that the other day, and I was oh, man. like, man, I don't know if I'd try that or not. That might freak me the fuck out. Because, like I said, there ain't no turning back once you jump off the side of that hill. It's, you're, you're going until you land. Do you need a pilot's license for that shit? That's a great question. I didn't think about that. That's a great question. That's crazy. I don't think so because you're not that high off the ground, can't. right? If I got one, I'd have to name it like something Flintstone-based. Mm-hmm. I mean, because you're running. Mm-hmm. Your legs are sticking out. 
but you it looks could also like a name fucking, it something Jetsons. It, it looks like a knockoff Transformer. A little bit. The legs sticking out like you just can't tuck them in to get the plane. It kind of looks like what we had before Power Wheels were battery operated, where you had the little pedal. You know, and yeah. it was like you you were in a car, like a power wheel, but you had to pedal. It's like a paddle boat, right. but with wheels. But you could easily drop your feet down and run if you wanted to, or, yeah. you know, scoot your feet along. Because it was a hell of a lot faster. Right, and it kind of looks like something like that with wings. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> we just got done talking about all this techno- technology and all this stuff, and he's like, no, fuck that. I want no controls, no electronics. I'm just going to glide. What if he 3D printed the plane? Oh, shit. Now, I found a video. I don't know if I can find it again, but I found... I, I, I want to say it's over in, like, China or Japan or something, but they 3D printed a bridge. Like, the what? 3D printer prints a bridge. Would you ride over it? Yes. Because the falling... I mean, it's, you know, oh, hey, we're six not, feet off the ground. We're not talking, like, Ambassador. <clears throat> we're not talking, like, Golden Gate, Brooklyn. We're no, talking no, like no, no. over a creek. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I should have been more specific. M- my mind just thinks big, I guess. I was like, <laughs> holy shit. What'd they do? Connect Japan to the continental China? I don't know, man. I'm like, fuck, man. I'm trying to find it. I, I look up 3D printed bridge and all kinds of videos pop up. It's right. not the one I'm looking for. A bunch for. of little ones people did for their final exams. Yeah. But they all look... Dude... That's a walkway bridge, obviously, wow. but that's impressive. I haven't followed the 3D printing much. I haven't either. Like, I have a buddy who is uh, 3D printing an Iron Man suit. Get the fuck out of uh, here! Like a full really? man size Iron Man suit, and it works. He's wired it. The shield goes up. Like, How much time we got? Can we call him? Um, you know what? We can try. Let me see. You connected? Yeah. No, wait. I have to connect. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Phone call for just one. <laughs> right. <clears throat> That's how we started earlier with uh, Guido. <laughs> I was like, hold on, man. I can't hear you. We're trying to take some of this new technology we got. Do an impromptu interview for you folks. Let me see if he answers. Well, I'm going to text him first just to see if he's available. All right, Because it, it is a holiday. But yeah, he's oh, printing yeah. a fucking Iron Man suit with a 3D printer. Holy shit. How big's the guy? My height. All right. He kind of, He actually looks... A lot like me. <laughs> His your, name's your Tom. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. He's one of the guys I went skydiving with. No shit. <clears throat> yep. He's like a jack of all trades, man. He does a lot of things. Skydived in that. That the fucking fucking photos. Sweet. Bro, like, pay someone else to do it. Did you see with... the Iron Man suit? His? No, no, no. no. It's oh. not an actual Iron Man suit, but it it flies like it's a jet suit. Really? Look at this shit. Look. Oh yes, yes, yes. Turn the volume down there. Yeah, I have seen that, guys. That's insane. This dude's, like, zipping I, around and shit. I can't watch it. Why? Because you want to try it? No. All right. So, one of my worst reoccurring nightmares. Oh, we're getting deep. He made this with a 3D printer, by the way. The suit. Fuck, man. <laughs> we're in the wrong, we need a 3D printer intern. They're, they, dude, 3D that brings their own printer. Expensive. <laughs> <laughs> right. They're expensive. Uh, so I have this reoccurring nightmare. It hasn't happened in a while, but occasionally it happens. And it's one of those that I've just feels so fucking real. Right. Right. Like you wake up in a sweat. So it's that you, man, it's so hard to explain. It's, it's in where my parents used to live. So it's that part of the neighborhood I grew up in. So very familiar with it. You know, certain trees, telephone poles, everything. Right. And I, there's no reason for it. It's just... A, the dream just happens to where I can shoot up. It starts off slow, much like a jetpack, but there's no jetpack. Almost like in Willy Wonka when Charlie and uh, the uncle start flying up and they got a burp to get down. Yep. Just start kind of going up, and it's like, and I'm trying to figure it out. Trying to figure out how, how it works, how to fly, how to get up, how to get down. But I can never figure out how to get down. So I can go up slow fast i can arc around and i can kind of do a little bit of a nosedive to cut down some of it but whenever i'm going down my speed increases whoa and i can't slow down until i turn back up and then it slows down but then i'm stuck still going up i can never get back to the ground right feet on the earth unless unless 
I shut it all off. And I don't know how to shut it all off, but occasionally it'll shut off. But then I'm free falling. <laughs> and again, this dream feels so real. Oh, that's, shit. That's the worst part about it because it's like literally like I fell off a cliff. Right. And then I'm going down towards the trees and everything. And I'm like, well, that's no good. And freaking out, spazzing. So I have to kick it back on. But then I start going back up. Mm -hmm. And I can never get down. I just constantly keep going up and up and up and up. And then I start having trouble breathing. And I have to cut it out. And then I'm screaming, fearing for my life as I'm free falling and burning up. And I have to. That's it's a fucking terrible dream. Oh, God. It's horrible because I never figure it out. When was the last time you had this dream? Has it been recent? 18 months ago. Damn. You got this shit marked on a calendar. It's so. it. It's one of the. Like, I don't have nightmares. I used to remember my dreams. I used to have vivid dreams, like very intricate, just amazing. Detailed, you know, right. Oh, it was, even when they were like bad, they weren't scary. I knew they were a dream. Right. And it just very detailed, creative, just out there. But that one, when that one happens, because it feels so real, it, real it's just it's the fear of God. Just life and death constantly, like adrenaline pumping. And the only way I can wake up is to touch ground. And or a tree. So you almost have to let yourself fall. I have to die in my dream. <laughs> She's so The pizza. only way I've ever wake, <clears throat> woken from that dream. Only way. Every single time I've ever had it in my life. Is I have to plummet to my death. That's crazy. Come, bring him in. That's fine. We're going to transition here. That was, it. That was crazy stuff. Man. And you, you took it to that spot. Come on in. Because it's the 4th of July... And we haven't had a youngster on the podcast since. Uh, go over and sit in one of the chairs over here. Do you want to be on? Did you see that, Grant? I know. My son, Jameson, is going to join us for a few minutes. He's got to climb up in the chair. That's a crazy dream. I haven't had a reoccurring dream in a long, long time. I used to have one really all the time. But to my recollection, that is the only dream the only I one. I mean, I have variations. Right. But none that have ever felt that real what um i have to um do it um fast because um me and mom are gonna see fireworks oh you're gonna go watch the fireworks mm -hmm. okay you pretty happy about that look at you you got some sun on your face today <laughs> <laughs> i don't know about Chuck E. cheese no Chuck E. cheese we haven't been there in a while either have we we were. It's been a while. Yeah. It was been a while when we um, did it. Yeah. Did you have a good 4th of July today? Yeah. It was just fireworks and water. Yeah. Yeah. But did you see um, um, a person that um, on Facebook that who said did a person that, um, I know that person that who said did thing that somebody got a pool and they got fireworks at the same time and then they put it and then they put the fireworks in the pool and then it light up and then all the water just stressing out of the sky what the heck kind of videos were you watching <laughs> so your youngest has a facebook account that's <laughs> news to me we're not friends so they threw the fireworks <laughs> in the pool it exploded and water went everywhere you have mm -hmm. a pool why don't you do that Every time, because I'm afraid that um, it's gonna um, my pool's gonna explode and everywhere yep. that the water goes, it's gonna um like splash on on like an another like all around town. That makes sense. You don't want to destroy your pool. You gotta take care of your pools. Yeah. Yeah. You're my boy, Blue. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know where they came from, do you? Look at him. He's looking around like who. <laughs> This one that. Yeah, you're right. No. You, you press got a different button. Can press, I? Yeah. I can press all kinds of buttons, dude. Can you press the purple one? Pick. Yeah, the pur there you go. This purple one? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Who the fuck is that guy? <laughs> it was Conor McGregor. You know, the guy that walks like this? The noodle arm guy? Yeah. Yeah, that can was him. Can you do the other purple one? The other, This one? What an idiot. <laughs> no, but is there like three on purples? No, there's only two. Pick pick a different color. 
red. 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 Oh, I don't want to do that. That's our intro music. <laughs> we already <laughs> used that one. I want to do. I want to listen to the red. Okay, here you go. Hey, there's Skittles in there. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need the other red one on top? This one? one? Orange? You can't handle the truth! The, um, no, that's our record button. That's the eject. If I hit that, it we all jump out of the building. Just like <sighs> the fireworks explode in the pool, he hits that, we explode at the table. You don't think so? No. You're not buying it? <laughs> I'm not buying that! <laughs> It'll just be a dumb couch that I sit on and then I'll... And then my butt will crack open. I told you you had the wrong guy, little boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we hear the fireworks. People are starting to light them off. The sun's going down. It's it's time to party. So we should end this so we can go watch? Uh, oh, oh. Watch? that sounded like a good one there. Let's go watch some fireworks. What do you say? Say bye to the people. Say bye. Bye. Skittles in there. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have some Cheetos. I have some, some what? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how we can end it. Yeah, better. <clears throat> that's a good spot to at least break off into the thank yous for the evening. <laughs> uh, let's start with uh, who do we say? The beer goddess on Twitter. Beer goddess. Shout out to them. One thing we didn't even get into the Michigan beer box. Uh, we didn't even talk about that. Next episode. Next episode, we're going to get into that. We got some details. Um, we're getting together with this company called Michigan Beer Box, right? Is that it what it's like called? It. Okay. <clears throat> still, still finalizing. Yeah, but it, it looks to be good. Everything's going to be. Uh, and then I, I believe Jason's going to have a crisper story for you next week. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, I know he had the uh, thing about the movies. I want to talk about that too. I'm looking forward to that. So. Then of course, for helping with the voting. Thank you to the working stiffs. You watch, I listen. Giant chair. Yes. Thank you very much. Uh, also, New Holland Brewing. Oh, yes. For the double header this evening. Who would have thought we'd both pick the same brewery like that, right? They must be doing something, right? They must be. Um, we're, do we think either one of these cans belong in the shelf or no? Uh, no. I, no. Lake and Trail is pretty cool. It is. But I don't know if it compares to the shelf. Cerveza has a nice, you know, flair to it, but it's just designs in colors. Yeah. Not, not really. I mean, obviously, they're all designs of colors. It, it's just not really special. It's no. not special. It's just a, a, a nice. It's a nice great can. beer. Definitely the contents of the can. Yeah. Are amazing. Stellar. Mm-hmm. So thank you to New Holland Brewing for putting out a couple more excellent beverages. Um. All right. We out. We are out of here. This has been episode 90. Almost to 100. We might want to put out a poll on what we should do for 100. We got a couple of ideas. We need some help deciding which one. We'll get something together. For sure, for sure. All right. Well, until next time, thank you very much. Hope you have a happy and safe fourth. Yes. Let your freedom ring. Still here, folks. Now check this out. Hey, this is Jake and Adam from the Hopper. That's right. Cutting a promo, but we fucking hate promos. Promos are tough. What do we do? We got to promote ourselves, but it's not really our fucking forte. No, it's not. We fucking hate them. They're a pain in my ass. They're a pain in your ass. So you know what? We're getting through this together. If you hate dumb shit as much as we do, give the Harper guys a listen. That's you, right. You can find us at iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, Podbean, Facebook, Instagram, theharperguys.com. Twitter. At the Harper guys. So, or sh- or shoot it. What? That, that. Mama. That's what we do all the time. <laughs> shoot us an email at theharperguys at gmail.com. That's right. Can't wait to hear from you soon. Let's do this. Hip hip. Cheerio.